Welcome to Cricket Victoria Coach Force Training with Purpose Cricket Clips. My name's Dean Russ, I'm the Coaching and Talent Pathway Manager and with us today is Sheffield Shield winning captain Travis Dean. As a spin bowler, they want to have the biggest surface area as possible to get the batter out. But from a batting point of view to play spin, we want to minimise that box to as small as possible. Every activity that we do throughout this coaching clip will all result into trying to put pressure back on the spinner and reduce that box. If we can achieve a box like this, we're going a long way to bat long periods of time, but not only that, we'll also be scoring runs, which is the essence of batting. This activity is a very simple one. This is a mid-on and mid-off drill. If I throw a red ball, the batter has to hit the ball on the offside. If I throw a white ball, Trav has to hit the ball on the onside. Often as coaches we say, just hit the sweepers. It's a very hard thing to do. So we need to actually practice this. If Trav misses it, he gets instant feedback because it hasn't gone into the pug nets. Mid on. Mid off. Here we're now just adding another layer to what we did previously. In a one day game, there's generally four sweepers. Long off, long on, deep mid wicket, and deep cover point. So now we're actually practicing hitting four different targets. You wanna have a go? Yeah, let's do it. Mid wicket. Mid on. Mid off. Mid wicket. Cover. Forty five. Point. To sweep or not to sweep, that is always a question. As a coach, it's not for you to tell the player, but it's important that the player practices it at training before implementing it in a game. This is a little rapid fire drill that we use just to get the feel for it. And from a technical point of view, we want the player's nose over toes. Trav, when sweeping, what's an activity that you like to try and do at training? I like to have the ball in the same area and try and hit five different areas with reverse sweeps, sweeps, log sweep, paddle sweeps. Perfect. Well, let's give that a go. In front. On. Behind. Reverse. Six. This activity challenges players to maximise the crease. It takes players out of their comfort zone. When the ball lands in front of the line, we want the batter to come out and use their feet. When the ball lands behind the line, the batter must go deep in their crease to play the ball on the back foot. Every time they make the right decision, they get a point. One to you. If they make the wrong decision, a point goes to the thrower. First to 10 wins. By reversing the norm, it is pushing players' limits it also highlights how far players can access the ball when they truly use the crease. The competition element creates additional pressure on the decision maker. And thank you for watching today's coaching clip. We hope you enjoyed it and remember to back yourself.